finishing up our video series of the shoes that I have laid out here on the table. And I'm pulling these out because even when the materials aren't awesome, because Jordan brand has the style design for the color blocking, they can do so much with their shoes that other brands can't get away with. Now, the Aform and the Top 10 both have the ability to have this type of color blocking, but Adidas doesn't really shoot for these really weird colors unless it's a collab. And I think they're underselling what the Top 10 could be versus the Air Jordan 1. But this is a women's Air Jordan 1 Mid SE. The color is French Blue Magic Ember. The style code is DN3738400. So we got this joint. I want to get to the close-up because I want you guys to see that the leather here is, is actually a little bit softer, but it's still a synthetic. You're not going to see any wrinkles when I touch test it at all in the leather, which means that it's coated with a PU. And I know you guys are like, man, he says that on every video, but I'm making sure to say it because people will say that something has premium leather, especially when you get an SE. All right. And because it's an SE, the price is $135. I forgot to say that. 135. The Air Jordan 1 was 110. Then it went up to 115. Then it went to 120, and then it was 125 for SEs. It's now 135. Everybody's talking about how resale is dropping. Uh, resale is being pushed to the boundaries because once the shoe gets to 135 when it's released, plus tax, you're talking about 145 or 150 in some instances. And that moves all the margins up, but people are not prepared to continuously pay for an Air Jordan 1 mid what they pay for an Air Jordan 1 high OG. So keep that in mind. Um, stamps. Did I get this stamp on here? It's hard to read it. 220505, 1688. It's kind of blurred. Somebody stamped it twice, but I can't see the 220505. So I know 050522. I'm going to leave that there. Hopefully you can see it and uh, go to the back of the tongue, which has the YS, which is made in China, and the dates of production are 02, 09, 22, 04, 25, 22. This one has a little bit of a stain on it, so I'm gonna have to clean that up a, a touch, but it's not bad, it's still brand new. You can see all the details on it. I'm just making sure it match, everything matches up next to my head so you can see it. Not sure which side it shows up. I know when I sit at the computer. But um, I want to get to the close-up on this because it is a great-looking shoe. No matter what I say about the materials, what you need to recognize is that it's a great-looking shoe. It's a very unique-looking shoe. I love the colors on it. And I, I think it's just, it's, it's these pastel kind of, they're not pastels because you got primary red and green and blue and yellow, but the neutral brown and tan, and then it's pink, which is kind of a pastel. It looks, it just works. It looks really good together, really good. Jordan keeps winning, man. People have to get more adventurous with the color blocking on their shoes, man, so we can have a nice competition between the brands. Because right now, Jordan brand is just like rocky and knocking everybody out in the ring, you know what I mean? So. Uh, let's get to the close-up of this Air Jordan 1 Mid SE. All right, everybody. So here's the fun part where I get to move this up so you can look at it and see the materials. Now, somebody tried this on, and you can see immediately that it got wrinkles. But those aren't the type of wrinkles that I tell you about when I'm talking about leather quality. This is separation. Those are bubbles. See, when I press this, and I want to make sure you see it, those are air bubbles underneath the plastic that's coating this um, leather. All right. So you got a shoe that's much softer. But when I tap it like this, there's no wrinkles radiating around my finger. It's not functioning or moving like skin, like true leather. And that's because it's coated with a PU. But I wanted to make sure you got a good look at the shoe because it is still a great looking pair of Jordan 1 mids. So I just wanted to make sure I got that video in and I want to show you in comparison real quick. I'm going to pull the toe out of this Jordan one and then I'm going to press the leather here 
and see what you see and what you see, you don't see bubbles. You see wrinkles radiating from under my finger. But here, when I press it, those are crinkles and those are bubbles. That's not wrinkles. Those are bubbles showing the separation between the leather and the plastic that's coating the leather. I just wanted to make sure you guys see that. And um, that's an Air Jordan 1 Mid SE. I'm going to wrap that video up and I'll see you guys on the next one.